Hello everyone, welcome to Masa Military. Before the war, Ukraine had no weapons capable of striking targets in Russia. The only ballistic missile was the Soviet-era OTR-21 Pachka, which had a range of only 75 miles and was easily intercepted. Even when Western countries have provided some cruise missiles, such as the Storm Shadow and Scout EG, Ukraine was not to use them to attack targets in Russia. So what did Ukraine use to attack targets in Russia? The answer is drones. After the outbreak of war, the Ukrainians quickly developed their own long-range drones, many from private companies. The first is a modified Soviet Tu-141 reconnaissance drone, now used as a suicide attack craft. The second is a multi-purpose drone UJ-22, which has a range of 497 miles and can drop RPG-7 rockets or 82mm mortar shells. The third is a suicide drone called Beaver which is said to have a range of up to 620 miles. It was recently used to attack buildings in downtown Moscow. Although Ukraine has UAVs that can threaten Moscow and other key areas of Russia, these UAVs are mainly suicidal and multi-purpose UAVs with relatively obsolete technology, and they also lack terminal precision guidance capabilities or remote control by satellite. The public does not have much information about the Beaver UAV. From limited photos, it can be seen that the Beaver adopts a cannered wing configuration, an elliptical torpedo-shaped fuselage, and anode, which has a small fixed wing. The straight wing is close to the tail, and takeoff is achieved with the help of the tricycle landing gear. According to assessment, the Beaver is about 6.6 .6 to 8.2 feet long, and the wingspan is about 9.8 to 11.5 feet. The takeoff weight is unknown, but is assumed to be within 220 pounds. The Beaver warhead uses the KZ-6 high-explosive warhead developed by the Soviet Union to damage the target through direct collision. KZ-6 is a portable-shaped charge with a length of 9.5 inches and a weight of less than 11 pounds, of which 4 pounds is explosive. This explosive is capable of penetrating no less than 7.9 to 8.3 inches of armor, or 19.7 to 21.7 inches of concrete. Beavers are propelled using pusher propellers, powered by a piston engine at the tail of the fuselage. Flight speed is estimated at 93 to 124 miles per hour, with a range of up to 621 miles. The shortest distance from the Russian-Ukrainian border to Moscow is only 370 miles, so it is definitely more than enough to use it to carry out suicide attack missions. However, there is no electro-optical infrared turret in front of the beaver. It is said that it is only equipped with a simple autopilot, perhaps GPS navigation equipment, and most likely neither does it have the ability to communicate in real time with the operator. It can be seen that the technical level of beaver UAV is still quite low. However, it has a low cost. The unit price is about 100,000 to 200,000, which is much cheaper than long-range missiles. Even for high-intensity use, Ukraine should be able to afford it. Another long-range drone used by the Ukrainian army is the UJ-22. This is a relatively mature product that was developed before the Russian-Ukrainian war. On February 28, 2023, the wreckage of the UJ-22 drone first appeared in the Moscow region. This UAV has a payload of 44 pounds, a cruising speed of 75 miles per hour, and a range of 497 miles. If it is a one-way suicide attack mission, important targets such as St. Petersburg, and the Ural Industrial Zone can be included within the strike range. The Ukrainian company UKR Jet recently presented its newest drone, UJ-23 Topaz. The UAV with a forward swept wing design has a maximum speed of 497 miles per hour, a cruising speed of 373 miles per hour, and a maximum range of 250 miles, a payload of 22 pounds, and a ground station control radius of 62 miles. With strong anti-jamming capability, it can perform tasks such as reconnaissance, electronic warfare, rapid strike, and air defense suppression operations. UJ-23 has a cruising speed of 373 miles per hour, which means that it is different from other products of UKR jet that uses piston engines. It should use jet engines. Although the load of UJ-23 is not much, it can also be used as a cruise missile. After all, a high speed means that it is less likely to be intercepted, and perhaps the UJ-23 attack will be seen soon. 
After Russia invaded Ukraine, Ukraine began to strengthen the development and production of drones. In 2022, there were less than 10 Ukrainian drone manufacturers. Today, more than 40 drone manufacturers have signed contracts with the Ukrainian government, and the production of drones has increased tenfold. The Ukrainian government once stated that it will produce and purchase 200,000 drones for combat this year. And of course, most of them are tiny four-axis commercial drones. In addition, Ukraine also uses cardboard drones provided by Australia, which were smuggled into Russia and assembled for flight. The cardboard drone, called the Precision Payload Delivery System, or PPDS, consists of thick waxed cardboard and heavy rubber bands securing the wings and can be assembled on site. PPDS is controlled by a military grade guidance system. The empty weight of the drone is only 5.3 pounds, and the load can reach 6.6 .6 pounds. It uses an electric motor to drive the propeller, and the onboard lithium battery is enough to fly for 75 miles. It can be used to transport supplies on the battlefield, conduct reconnaissance, or drop small bombs. The unit price of this drone is also very cheap. Less than $3,500, and Australia can deliver at least 100 units to Ukraine every month. Germany's Rheinmetall will deliver the Luna New Generation Unmanned Aircraft System, Luna NG, to Ukraine before the end of the year. Consisting of several Luna X2000 multi-purpose drones, the Luna X2000 has a takeoff weight of 88 pounds, an endurance of 12 hours, and a data link range of 62 miles. It can be used around the clock and can stay in the air for 12 hours. If a target is detected during long-term surveillance, the operator can immediately activate the release of Hero R light loitering ammunition to attack enemy personnel and equipment. A Luna X2000 can carry up to eight Hero Rs. The Hero R from Israel's U-Vision company uses four axis rotors, is compact in size, has a maximum speed of 43 miles per hour, and has a battery life of about 10 minutes. It can be equipped with high explosive, fragmentation, or armor-piercing warheads. It can attack different targets according to programmed instructions, and has excellent strike capability and operational flexibility. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support Masa Military. See you next time!